It was a royal affair at the traditional marriage ceremony between Uluwa Tobi Adeni Adesomi and Wuraola Mujola Uluwa Ogunoiki, which was held on Thursday, the 16th of May, 2019, at the Classic Event Center, Kudirat Abiola Way, Oregon, Ikeja, Lagos. The parents of the group are Prince Adenrile and Oluriola Jumoke Adesomi from Ileife and Oshogbo Inoshun State, Nigeria. While the parents of the bride are RMO engineer Luke Benga and Reverend Mrs. Timitokpe Ogunoiki from Iberu Remo and Irunwa Inugu State. The bride's father, RMO engineer Luke Benga Ogunoiki, was a former director general of the Bureau of Lands and Survey Ogun State, while the mother, Reverend Mrs. Timitokpe Ogunoiki, is the presiding minister, Graceville Chapel in Lagos. The event was well attended by dignitaries like former governor of Ogun State, Otumbak Bengo Daniel, and wife, Yeye Olufunke Daniel, business mogul and philanthropist per excellence, Sir Dr. Kessington Adebu Kwonla Adebutu, wife of the Alakbero of Iqbero Remo, Oluri Kende Dobasibo, the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications, Prince Bessiel Atilo, as well as other important personalities. The groom, Uluwa Tobi Adesomi, holds his first and second degrees in chemical engineering from the University of Nottingham, United Kingdom. He currently works in schools in Canada. The bride, Wuraola Ogunoiki, is a graduate of law from the University of Kent, UK. She holds a master's degree in law from the University of Warwick, UK. She's a corporate lawyer. The traditional ceremony began with the entry of the groom's family, led by the parents of the groom, Prince and Uluri Adenrile Adesomi, looking regal in their attires as they danced gracefully to the traditional songs and rhythms provided by the mistresses of ceremony. They made their way to pay homage to the families of the bride, who in turn welcomed them with open arms. Thereafter, the mistresses of ceremony began the coordination of precedence, so each provision of tradition is strictly adhered to. First was the introduction of both families, which was carried out in a playful manner amidst rich traditional and contemporary Nigerian vibes. Afterwards, a member of the bride's family, engineer Olalu Akito, was invited to read the proposal letter brought by the family of the groom. A letter of consent was also provided by the family of the bride, which signaled approval. The Yoruba traditional marriage, though a serious affair, is full of playful banters. This was observed in the nostalgic, loved up moments between the parents of the bride, Aremo and Reverend Mrs. Lugbenga Gunoiki, as they both entertain guests with their dance moves to good old school music. The groom, Uluato Biadesomi, stormed the arena in company of his friends as they all danced to beautiful traditional music. <laughs> of the bride followed immediately as she was heralded by her friends who joined her in a boisterous dance session down the hall. She went on to greet both parents before taking her place beside her husband. <laughs>
The dowry items were blessed as the bride picked the Bible from the items brought by her husband. Afterwards, the couple were joined formally in the presence of both parents as the ceremony ended on a high note with the faith band dishing out very good songs. <laughs> Saturday, the 18th of May 2019, was the day set aside for the glamorous wedding ceremony between Uluwatobi Adesomi and Wurao Lao Gunoiki, whose love has spanned over six years. The church service was held at Graceville Chapel, Ikeja, Lagos. In attendance were the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeyeyeni Togunsi, former governor of Ogun State, Otumbak Benga Daniel, and wife, Yeye Ulufunke Daniel, and many other important personalities. The church service kicked off with a bridal procession as the beautiful bride, Wurola, was walked up the aisle by her father, RMO engineer Ulugbenga Ogunoiki. <laughs> The exhortation was next, which was delivered by Bishop Samuel Amau Thomas. Thereafter was the charge and declaration conducted by Bishop Samuel Alaudi. The Bible reading for the service, taken from the book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 4 to 12, was read by Reverend Mrs. Toby. It talked about the essence of marriage as conceived by God. The exchange of vows and rings was conducted by Bishop Ima Omo as the couple, Urola and Uluwatobi Adesomi, took their marriage vows in the presence of God and the congregation. And then for one more lap, one more last, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I will honor you with my with my worldly possession. I will honor you with my worldly possession. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can do it better. Can we put those things together for them? I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love, I will honor you with my worldly possession in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, can you go in In the sermon, delivered by, by Bishop Ima Omo of the Vine Yard Ministries. The couple were told to understand each other. The officiating minister said, marriage is beyond the day of the wedding, as a lot has to be put in place to make it stand the test of time. Archbishop John Osauni also enjoined the couple to cleave and understand each other's differences, respect, love, and care for each other. He said that understand your wife. You see, women, like to talk, small things and big things, please, please do not. If you don't give them listening ears, they will be looking for who to talk to. No matter how impatient you are as a husband, or how much in the hole you are, when your wife says, honey, there's something important I want to tell you, don't say, let me wait a little. If you can spare to and say, is this something I can say quickly, I'm sure I, I can listen to you before I take off, or say it small, give her that attention. Then you say, when I return, when I come back from office, and we both sit down and deep, deep very well. If you don't do that one, she will pick her phone. Because they, by their nature, they want, they are expressive, they want to talk. A few women are exceptions, but most women are in that category. That's why they talk to their mother-in-law, their mother-in-law a lot, their mother -in -law, a lot. Uh, sorry, their mothers a lot, their fathers a lot, their friends a lot, about so many things. Because most of the time, the husbands don't have that listening ear. If you go back to that opinion, you ask yourself, when the serpent came to start discussing with the wife of Adam, where was Adam? How come the serpent has so much time to occupy 
the wife of a man, a man with a mandate, the same can have so much time to occupy her and begin to discuss to a point of destroying every plan of God for them. That's the same problem that's plaguing man. Many men don't have time for their wives. And when you see that divorces are increasing, this is one of the major reasons. Your own will be an exception. Your marriage will be a modern marriage in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. After the sermon was prayers for the couple and signing of the marriage register, as parents on both sides joined the couple for the signing, after which the newlyweds were prayed for by senior pastors of the church. The Thanksgiving session was next as friends and family members of the Adesomis and Ogunoikes joined in songs and dances of Thanksgiving for the glorious day. church service ended with the recessional hymn as the couple and the congregation matched out. The reception ceremony which followed next was held at the Podium International Event Center off Allen Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos. The event, which was moderated by Adeyemi Abimbola Ajele, popularly known as MC Ajele, was graced by personalities like the governor-elect of Ogun State, Mr. Dagwabiodun, former governor of Ogun State, Otumba Gbengu Daniel, who was the chairman of the occasion and wife, Yeye Olufunke Daniel. The Akaribo and paramount ruler of Remoland, or Bababatunde Adewale Ajayi, led the impressive turnout of traditional rulers from Ogun State, who honored the father of the bride, who is an illustrious son of Ogun State, billionaire philanthropist per excellence, Sir Dr. Kessington Adebukunla Adebutu, among other distinguished guests. The event kicked off with the entry of the parent of the groom, Mr. and Mrs. Adirele Adesomi, who were joined by family members and friends as the DJ provided songs of thanksgiving. Thereafter, the parent of the bride, a remote engineer and Reverend Mrs. Timitoko Gunoike, stormed the hall in the company of a huge array of their friends and family members. The most anticipated moment of the reception was the entry of the latest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Uluwa Tobi Adesami. It was a moment of fun as the bridal party heralded the couple in very entertaining dance steps. They fed the eyes of guests with their well thought out dance moves. <laughs> The chairman of the occasion, Otumba Gringo Daniel, in his remark, welcomed everyone to the event and enjoined the couple to emulate their parents by putting God first in all that they do. There is no gain saying the fact that they are joined together to be the great prince and the great princess. And if you have seen the way they have uh, comported themselves, have been monitoring them, I have no doubt that in them you have the uh, grace of God, a perfect couple. I pray uh, for success in this marriage. Uh, everything you wish yourself, I wish you. Uh, two days ago, uh, somebody was saying that his own mother had them children. But these days, I don't know uh, what you are looking for. Uh, but I know that these days, maybe you don't need double, two in, two in, and then you go. Address, whatever it is, I want to specially uh, congratulate you. The day is past, but 
The kick cotton exercise was conducted by Mr. Dakwabiodun, governor elect of Ogun State, after which the event compare supervised the feeling by the couple. And everybody will join me in spelling the name of Jesus because we are putting Jesus first in the lives of this couple. So we shall start. Can I have a J? Yeah. Can I have an E? Yeah. Can I have an S? Yeah. Can I have a U? Yeah. Can I have an S? Yeah. Jesus. The mother and son dance, the father and daughter dance, and the couple's first dance followed next. Thereafter was dance, 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 as king of juju music, King Sonny Ade in the bandstand dished out some of his best songs as guests grooved all night long. From Biscon Communications, we congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Uluwatobi Adesomi. We wish them a blissful married life. Thank you.